In this lecture, you will learn how to perform primary key based operations such as getting a single employee, updating an existing employee and deleting an employee. Okay, so right now what you're seeing here is all the employees, right? So we need to get a single employee based on the primary key. All right, so let's first create a URL pattern for this. Let's go back to our code and in the urls.py which is inside the API app. So here we have the path to get all the employees and create a new employee, right? So here let's create another path and say employees forward slash we will accept the primary key as an integer okay like this int colon pk okay the same thing that we have done for the students now let's say views dot here also we will create a class based view we will call this class based view as employee detail employee detail and when we are using a class based view, as I said, we should use as underscore view. Okay, it's a function. Now put a comma. All right, so we are done with this creating the employee URL. Now what we need to do is we need to actually go to this one, right? If you write three and here you should be able to get the single employee whose primary key is three right now you get the error because uh, we have not yet created this class right so that's why let's first go ahead and create the employee detail class let's all right so i'll create a class employee detail all right so this will again inherit api view all right so here to get a single employee or to update the existing employee we need the object right we need that employee we first need to get that object from the database and after that we can easily perform you know a crud operation on that so that's why we have a function called get object okay so get object so what this will do is this will go to the database and bring the employee based on the primary key that we pass okay so let's say of course we first need to pass the self and after that we need to pass pk okay which is a primary key now uh, this will be the same as what we are doing for getting the student here right so this will be same okay so here in the try block we are getting the student student equal to student dot objects dot get pk is equal to pk right the same thing we need to do here also so let's open a try block and say this time it is employee employee is equal to employee dot objects objects dot get pk is equal to pk and then we can return employee like this or you can simply remove this and just simply return like this okay so this will also return the single employee object all right now what if we don't have the employee if we pass a wrong primary key which does not exist right so in that case we will handle the except block except employee dot does not exist then here we can uh, raise the response but you know what this doesn't work in the except case so that's why we'll have to return the http404 which comes from Django Django dot HTTP. Just import HTTP 404. Okay, we will raise this and I'll show you how it works. Simply say raise HTTP 404. All right. Now we got this employee object. Okay, if we call the get object with the primary key, we will get the employee. All right, if there is no employee, then definitely it is going to give us the 404 error. All right. Now, the first thing we'll have to get a single employee, right? So if you look at this one, we are here, right? Uh, here we are using if condition, if method equal to get, then we are doing this one, right? So similar thing we're gonna do here also. 
so define this is now the get method get will take self comma pk right pk is very important otherwise you will not get the single object right we are getting the single object based on the primary key based on this one all right now what we'll do is first we'll need an employee right we need employee how to get the employee now we already have this function to get the employee right so simply say self dot get object you need to call this self because self means the class we are calling the function which is inside this employee detail right so that's why it is self get object get um, underscore object and this will take pk okay and i forgot one more thing here so this get will also accept the request okay get will also accept the request you know self comma request comma primary key all right now we got the employee and let's say serializer is equal to employee serializer inside the employee serializer you simply put this employee then it will be serialized and now we can you know return the serialized data let's say return a response serializer dot data and also status is equal to status dot http 200 okay save this and go back to our view here let's refresh this one and you can see we got the employee with the id 3 now if i go to 1 and you see we got the 1 and uh, what if i try 50 now you can see detail not found which is http 404 that we are raising from here right so this one got triggered now in the next one i'll show you how we can update the existing record okay using the put method